Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much for stopping by again today. You know, how to get the most out of your trip to the Philippines, whether you're coming here for vacation, slow vacation, or to retire. You know, I've been coming here on and off for 15 years. I just want to give you some simple solutions on how to navigate this place. You see a lot of videos about Oh, the Philippines isn't what people say it is. Or maybe the vloggers lied to me. You know what I'm saying. But people are doing something wrong. You know, this is the Philippines. It's a unique place. And so let's get right with it. I'm going to give you just three simple things to do. If you do this, I promise you, you're going to have a better time over here. No matter if it's two weeks two months, two years, or the rest of your life. Some of this stuff, you're going to say, Cal, sounds crazy. I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this. I've either did it or I'm experiencing it. But the first thing is this. I'm not going to tell you guys to leave the women alone. You would never do that. Because most of us are under the impression that that's the attraction of the Philippines, to be here in the first place is the women. But I will say, limit your time with the women. What do you mean by that? I mean, don't have a living. Don't get married. Because they're expensive, number one. Number two, they're heavy. It's a heavy load to, to bear. You say, well, Cal, you got a girlfriend. That's why I can tell you don't do it. Because the whole uh, appeal of the Philippines, this is it's so many so much to see here. And the only way you're going to see it is if you travel alone. That's when it becomes more affordable. You're more flexible because that's part of the solution too. You can come and go as you want. But when you start getting bogged down in these relationships, the game is over before it ever gets started. See, the big attraction really, the Philippines is the natural beauty traveling all around. You see guys doing it all the time. The channels are very popular for, for a reason. Because that's really what you want to do. But you're not going to be able to do it when you come over here. Some guys are smart. They'll bring their wives with them. You've heard me talk about this stuff on and off briefly on my live streams, but I just wanted to make a short video about it. The Philippines is what we say it is, you know. Stop blaming these vloggers because you're having problems over here. You're doing something wrong. Okay, that's the weak thing to do. Most vloggers really are trying to be as helpful as they possibly can. They're not doing it for the money. I mean, if that was the case, everybody would do it. But everybody's not monetized. It takes a special type of channel to get monetized. I'm talking about to the point where you can live off the money. Okay, a very tiny percent of vloggers are even getting paid over here. But stop knocking these vloggers, man. I don't even know any vloggers anymore who are selling dreams because those people are long gone. The Philippines has been open for over two years now. Okay. Not only are the vloggers telling stories, but the people they interview, other people coming and going, man. If the Philippines wasn't everything that people say it is, then why so many people keep coming? Why is the numbers going up? That's all I'm saying. But this first thing is very important. Okay, yeah, these women are beautiful. Yeah, they're attractive. But they're alone, man, when you come to the Philippines the first time. You know, limit your time with the women, guys. And I know you're, you're not going to take this advice. That's why you're not going to get the best out of the Philippines. Or you base your trip solely on the fact that you didn't meet a woman. Now, oh, what's the point of me being here? Yes, it's a lot going on over here. It's a lot to see, man. It's a lot to do here. But we only scratch the surface because we've got that 100-pound woman on our back. Or 
we don't have a woman, so now we're depressed. Oh, they didn't fall down on the ground when I got off the plane. So that's the first thing to do. Okay, know this. The women are not the number one attraction to the Philippines. Get that out of your mind. Erase that from your memory. I've got a about 30 minutes from here, man, there's a 200-foot waterfall here. That's what the Philippines is all about, okay? But don't say I didn't tell you. I'm just trying to help you. Your people don't understand. That's what my channel is all about. The second thing, remember I was talking about being flexible, is have an open mind and be willing to be flexible. You know, because we're all looking for that elusive sweet spot. But if you come here and plop down in Manila and then you're, you're unsatisfied, or Duma Getty, or Angeli City, and you think that's all it is to the Philippines, then you're going to have a problem. You're going to be unhappy. You're not going to get the most out of the Philippines. If you come somewhere, first of all, and it's not up to your uh, expectations or to your liking, move. But certainly don't give up. That's a big mistake we make. We don't stay the course, ladies and gentlemen. Place got over 7,000 islands, 2,000 are inhabited. There's some place over here for you, but you have to have an open mind across the board, the food. Keep it simple, man. That's my third thing I'm going to talk about, but keep it simple. Yeah, experiment with some of this stuff, but they've got fish, chicken, pork, beef over here. That's all I'm saying. Have an open mind. Remember where you are. You're not in Thailand. The Philippines has a vibe to it. That's what attracts people here. There's a vibe here. And once you are part of that vibe or you can attach yourself to that vibe and ride that wave, man, you're going to stay here. You're never going to leave. But we don't give ourselves enough time. If the women aren't right there, the minute we get off the plane, something's wrong. Have an open mind, ladies and gentlemen, about this place. You're not at home. It's the reason you travel 8,000 miles. We're looking for something different. We're not looking for more of the same. I'm not. I'll give you an example. You know, one of my moderators, he's a friend of mine, Michael Beecher Life. He plopped down in Cebu, the city, and he seemed to be happy. But then all of a sudden, he did a 180. Now he's in Bohol, living by the beach. Probably as happy as he's ever been. See, that's what I'm talking about. Don't get sold on one idea. Or if just one thing doesn't work, be willing to be flexible and try something else. Because whatever you're looking for, it's over here, man. I promise you. But guess what? We give up too soon. Oh, I'm going back home. I'm going to Thailand or whatever it is. I'm talking about getting the best out of the Philippines. I've been here long enough, man. If the Philippines wasn't what I say it is, I wouldn't be here. Okay, y'all don't know me, man. You know, Gemini's are like that. We get bored. But the Philippines is, but it has a vibe, man. And you got to become part of that vibe. And the only way you're going to do that is with an open mind. Stop complaining. Stop looking at everything from a negative light. Try to walk a mile in their shoes. This is what you want. Adapting is good for the human being. It, because it's different, that's good. But have an open mind on all subjects. Okay? Don't look down on people. Just remember it's a different culture. They do things different. They move differently over here. And the last thing I'm going to tell you is how to get the most out of the Philippines, you know, because no one really tells you. You know, we, we talk about how to, you know, Dating, you know, we give you dating tips, we give you, you know, different other tips, but we really don't tell you how to really come over here and get the most out of this place. Keep it simple, man. You know, Philippines doesn't have a whole lot of uh, fancy stuff over here. I mean, if you want the subways and all that, go to Thailand. 
But keep it simple. Always keep your feet on the ground. Know where you are. Do some research before you get over here. Know what you're stepping into. You know, the vloggers do the best they can. And some guy says, oh, it's too many vloggers. No, it's not enough vloggers. It's like a buffet. Take what you want and leave the rest. But I believe if you listen close enough, they're really trying to give you some good information. And there is something you can take from these vlogs. But we're too busy criticizing people and trying to discredit them to learn any damn thing. But keep it simple over here. Life is very simple here. Okay? Either you're going to do it or you're not. Okay? Either you're going to have a maid or you're not. Either you're going to have a girlfriend or you're not. Don't make it complicated. But keep things simple. Either you're going to go to church or not. Try to understand the culture here. Either you're going to learn the language or you're not. Don't make it complicated. Guys. We're retired. Are you on vacation or whatever it is when you come over here? Keep it simple. You know, When you go to the grocery store, buy the same things you're used to buying. And you're, not, you're always going to come out on top. Go to the same restaurants you used to go into over there because they're here. Because a lot of the complaints is about the food here. I don't know why. I guess it depends on who's cooking it. If you got a good cook like I do, I've got two in there. You're not going to have a complaint about the food. I don't eat balloon. I don't eat a lot of the cultural stuff, but that's okay. I don't knock it either. I eat dried fish. I eat shrimp paste. I'm willing to try some things, you know. Remember, be open-minded, be flexible, but keep it simple because this is a simple place. Hey, hey, how you doing? Keep going. Keep your expectations simple. Stop worrying about what people are saying about you or thinking about you. It's none of your business. Because it's enough of this bash in the Philippines. When people's dreams die here, they want to blame the Philippines. They want to blame the vlogger. No, look in the mirror. You're doing something wrong. Oh, I got on the dating site. Uh, I wasn't able to meet anybody. Yeah, because you're doing something wrong. Learn how to take some suggestions. We're not telling you what to do. We're just suggesting some things to do. Because when I talked about dating is so easy over here, what's the big deal about it? Some guy said, well, I'm an exception. I've been over 13 months. Uh, the dating sites are full of scammers because you don't know what you're doing. You, you never really ask for help. You're taking for granted that all you got to do is sign up on a profile and that's it. No, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Because there is a layer of scammers and people who are playing games on there. You know, you got to learn how to break through that. You have to know what you're looking for. Same thing when you come to the Philippines. If you know what you're looking for, if you know what you're looking at, you're not going to have a problem. So thank y'all so much for stopping by. I just wanted to make this video today because it doesn't seem like anybody is trying to help us over here anymore. We're mostly complaining. All oh, the vloggers are lying. Oh, it's not what you think it is in the Philippines. It really is. But if you just want to come over here and think you can navigate this place on your own, then you're in for a big surprise. You're probably going to be disappointed. But if you, number one, limit your time with the women. I'm not saying don't deal with them at all because you wouldn't do that. You, you would think I'm crazy. What do you mean by that? It means no living. Don't get married. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, they're attractive. But they're heavy. They're expensive. The number one attraction to the Philippines there's so much to see. There's so many places to go. It's going to be hard for you to do that with a woman on your back. Okay? She's going to want to limit you anywhere where you go. It's much more affordable when you go by yourself. Okay? Keep an open mind. Even when it comes to that first one. Keep an open mind. Don't shut, your do Don't shut the door on that. You can date over here without taking advantage of people. 
Be flexible. Stay the course. Give it some time. Don't come over in three months and think, oh, you can see it all in three months. I met a guy from America. I've been here 22 years. He's a cowboy. I didn't even scratch the surface. And neither are you. You plop down in Manila, go somewhere else. Angeles City, Duma Gates, more to the Philippines than that. Okay? And keep it simple, guys. This is a simple place. Culture is simple. Life is simple, really. We, we complicate it. Either you are or you aren't. You just keep it that basic. Either you're going to the beach today or you're not. Don't keep thinking about it. One of the major causes of failure, according to Napoleon Hill, is our indecisiveness, our inability to make a decision and to stick with the decision. So just keep it simple. Either you're going to have air condition or you're not. Either you're going to have uh, Wi-Fi or you're not. You're going to build a house or you're not. Don't take up a whole lot of time complicating that stuff. Because there's no really no right way or wrong way over here. There really is no blueprint. See, because that's a problem. You're following people over here. You're looking at them. Oh, he lives in uh, Valencia. And then you go to Valencia and you see, that's not for me. It's too remote or whatever it is. Oh, Angeles City. Stop following people. Live your own life. Have your own game plan when you get over here. But number one, stop blaming these vloggers. They're doing the best they can. Look at the life they're living. Look at what I'm living. Do you think I'm selling you a dream? I'm not. And some guy on the video says uh, it wouldn't be so many vloggers if you if you couldn't get monetized on YouTube. You dummy. Do you think everybody that's on YouTube is monetized? They're not. Very few, a tiny, tiny fraction of vloggers are monetized, are even earning up money uh, to live, whether you're in the Philippines or whatever. This is the stuff we do. We worry about the wrong stuff. Okay? So if you're in America, if you're in the Philippines, Thailand, wherever you are, find it in your heart to help somebody. Not a day goes by that I don't help somebody. We're waiting on the winner of the spin wheel last night to come. I've come up with a new way to give back, a new game. When people here in San Carlos City see me and they say, hey, Sunshine Show is a hell of, I'm going to give them a car with a number on it. Next Sunday, 3 o'clock on the plaza, they come to the plaza. We're going to spin the wheel. If your number comes up, you're going to get a chance to win 5,000 pesos. We're going to have three boxes. We're going to have three keys. One key is going to open up a box with 500 one with a thousand, one for five thousand. But you're gonna have to pick the right key. You're gonna win something anyway, see? Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care, stay safe, stay out of trouble. I'll see you next time. Don't do anything stupid. Okay? Stop taking what these vloggers are saying literally. Stand on your own two damn feet, you're a grown ass man. That's a weak thing to do, blaming vloggers, man.